So what's going on Toxic Gamers? It's been a minute, man. We have been at it for a minute now and it has been a minute, man. It has been a Bruh. minute. This situation is tough, guys. Listen, man. We had the we had so much crap go down in video games and for the last week and a half, it's been quite chill, right? We had the Ghost of Tampon situation, Ghost of Yote, yo 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 Yote, Ghost of Sushi. Also cannot forget, guys. Like come on, man. Salute to Captain BBC. We had the Assassin's Squid situation, right? We also had the Concord situation and guys we gotta talk about it sit down kiss your loved ones goodbye like the video if you love your mama like the video if you love god like the video if you think you deserve better games than concord assassin's creed star wars and all those games right because quite literally the concord pronouns at this point they were was and were guys it is it is quite sad shout out to the homie asman he back from his band as well guys oh, yeah, roll it. Firewalk Studios. Let's talk about this. So the people that worked at, that made Concord, they decided to postpone shutting down their studio until I came back for stream. I really appreciate that. And so anyway, after okay. much thought, we have determined the best path forward is to permanently sunset the game and close the studio. Sunset is whenever you take it out in the back behind the barn and you fucking shoot it and it's dead. Firewalk is bro you were banned and you're coming back you're just coming back from your ban that is like really gangster of you bro i be looking like this quite frankly i have been looking like this ever since i heard the news of concord because yeah i mean i'm shocked at the fact that they took this long to shut it down right because today a lot of people were shocked that oh my god they shut it down sony shut it down sony shut it down but i'm assuming that you guys are also shocked but you're shocked at the fact that they took this long to shut it down crazy roll it is signing off one last time Ultimately, this is the important for part. It. Ship and deliver a great FPS experience to players, even if it landed much more narrowly than we had hoped against a narrowly. heavily consolidated market. It landed much more narrowly, okay. Okay. Although some of these other aspects of the IP didn't land as we hoped, the idea of putting oh, no. new things into the world is critical new things okay. critical of pushing the medium forward unfortunately they pushed their company off a bridge uh some <laughs> updates from sony interactive studio uh-oh regarding wow. firewalk as announced in early september certain aspects of concord were exceptional but others did not land with enough players and as a result we took the game offline we spent considerable time in these past few months exploring considerable time okay in these last few months bro these seconds took eight years to make this game pathetic eight years to drop this third of our game bro gamers deserve better we deserve better than that like come on now man like the video if you think we deserve better than that i mean damn this thing is crazy and what's coming next guys are oh, you not ready for it we talking about uh, the professor that's the el senor the professor you guys not ready for that wait for it all of our options after much thought we have determined the best path forward is to permanently sunset the game and close the studio check the reply to that that tweet um remember the sunset. firewalk dev who said pretty soon gamers will have no games at all turns out today she has no job at all i would say i told you so but I didn't tell you so. Everybody knew this was going to happen. You don't just light $400 yeah, yeah. million dollars on fire and then yeah. ride off into the sunset. Do you they wasted $400 million. These seconds are crazy, bro. These seconds could have made so many other games. These seconds could have made 10 Uncharted games out of it. These seconds could have made their own like Call of Duty type game out of this, bro. These seconds could have made like so many different, maybe even a GTA game or some shit like that, bro. <laughs> What the hell were you guys thinking? Four hundred million dollars, eight years. Then Herman Hulst, who is the current CEO right now, Herman Hulst, he says that this is his baby, and he was like, "Hey, gamers, gonna like love it. We need to push this game out on the gamers." Eight years, four hundred million dollars, bro. Four hundred million dollars, bro. You suck us crazy, bro. And guess what? He was behind pushing this game and now he's the CEO of PlayStation. It's over.
It is Joe over and today they shut it down. You know what's really crazy about this is the fact that they couldn't even put the game out free to play and try to Bruh. extract more money out of people from knew, like microtransactions. They, they knew it was people not gonna suck is not gonna play it. So. They actually thought that it was so bad that they just aborted it. And this they is, like, by the Bruh. way, this is a post-birth abortion. And they, they said, you know what? Still, let's take it to the back of the barn. Ah! Hey! Whoa! Whoa! Shout out to the homie Smash the Table, guys. Wait for it. The people behind it are going to be the reason why it all failed. And they'll have no one to blame but themselves. It's just a matter of time before they fold. Well, here's the coverage everybody expected. Sony Interactive Entertainment has confirmed the inevitable. After inevitable. years of misguided... The... Uh, man. Bruh. Holy crap, like this is video games design, guys. I did development in toxic workspaces. Firewalk Studios is officially shut down. Sony just sent out a press release letting everyone know that the studio and the game is no longer. What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Smash JT. And my experience with Firewalk Studios goes back a little ways, all the way back to when somebody who worked there as a whistleblower reached out to me like six, eight months ago to tell me about just how bad the environment was at oh, Firewalk Studios and it how they me, felt you know, afraid that they couldn't speak up because <sighs> HR might get called and then their job would be in jeopardy because they didn't want- Crazy. And these suckers are all about diversity, inclusivity, which I mean, on paper is a good thing, right? Yeah, diversity and inclusivity should be all about, hey, hire people because they're talented, not because of the color of their skin or their gender, the religion they're following or not following, right? Uh, their orientation or whatever, the ethnicity, right? You just hire anybody and everybody who's good for the job, regardless of those things. But these are these things are like, nah, man, you're not good for the job, but you are like, ow, ow, come here, let's work, it's gonna be fun, let's burn four hundred million dollars together. <laughs> And then these things are actively silencing people. These things are like, even in their own company, I'm not even talking about removing or like uh, privatizing comments on their Twitter or crap like that. No, 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 I'm not even talking about that. I'm talking, yeah, like even at the studio, if you mention something along the lines of, hey, like, you know, maybe let's not have a character in the game that is like, like big, like sumo wrestler type, or you know, like they there or something like that. Nah, you would get fired, bro. These seconds were like, nah. If you said that, hey, gameplay is not is not that good. Fire! You gone! You gone! So this is what you call toxic positivity. You wanna believe in more than two uh, two genders, but you cannot believe in more than two different opinions. It, it's crazy, and I'm all up for them believing in like more than two genders. Yo, you do you, right? But can a brother perhaps also believe in diversity of thought as well? Diversity, inclusivity, good. But forced diversity is uh, like the problem here, right? Clearly, I mean, they burned 400 million dollars, yeah, and, and now they're gonna go pound sand, bro. Like, this is crazy. Ludicrous, bro. Ludicrous. But to refer to someone in the correct pronoun that they desired to be heard from or they didn't like the direction the game was going but you weren't allowed to go against the crowd there because otherwise you were excommunicated from what ultimately became Insane. a cult of toxic positivity and in this video we're going to talk a little bit about what went wrong with concord but mostly how this is a major design tip for long-term gems okay okay win for gamers because it's proof once again that at the end of the day it doesn't matter what you do at the workspace what you care about what ideologies you push if your game sucks no your one's gonna sucks. buy it your and the sucks, activists yeah. are getting actively pushed out <laughs> let's get to it hit that subscribe give me a like and check out smashjt.com for the full article like and subscribe like and subscribe and guys also check out the instagram page links are always in the pinned comment uh, also feel free to become a member so the day we get cancelled we can live to fight another day you feel what i'm saying all right let's get back to the content here boo boo breaking down the press release of Sony Interactive shutting down Firewalk Studios. Oh, PlayStation's no. supposed answer to multiplayer innovation in Concord is no more, despite innovation. a colossal budget that was rumored to be exceeding over $400 million over Shit, eight man. years of development. Concord completely oh, failed God. to attract any player base whatsoever. And now it's widely regarded as one of the biggest, if not- I wish I could say psych right now, man. 
400 million dollars these seconds could have made so many good games out of it these seconds could have revived socom kill zone right perhaps make like a new ip that was similar to call of duty because yeah playstation was worried that call of duty has gone to xbox right we we learned about it from their uh court cases right when they were fighting like a couple of months ago before uh xbox would have acquired call of duty and put it on game pass and on all the platforms of course yeah right these things could have made their own call of duty like game or a game similar to call of duty on the same level but these things are like nah man we need to make concord bro gamers gonna love this one we need to make this woke slop yeah i mean get get woke get broke i guess the biggest gaming missteps, hugest flops in the history of gaming. In a press release Shit, from man. Sony Interactive's Herman Hulse, CEO of Studio Business Group, he attempted to try to soften the blow, stating, yeah. Dear team, today I want to share some important updates from Sony Interactive Entertainment Studio Business Group. We consistently evaluate our game's portfolio and status of our projects to ensure we are meeting near and long-term business priorities. As part of our ongoing efforts to strengthen SIE's studio business, we have had to make a difficult decision relating to two of our studios neon koi and firewalk studios and the way that character jumps it feels like that my playstation is cracking up right now you know like my playstation has died completely you know i was on side scrollers earlier today and madam savvy was diving into neon koi which was apparently a mobile game developer a smaller studio that said they worked on games and made games but we couldn't find any evidence of them actually producing anything or even working on anything in the background it just looked like a bunch of people that hung out in the office and doing things other than work but then we turned yeah. our attention to firewalk studios the one people actually care about because that was the game company behind concord and it goes on to okay bro like did you really like buy two copies <laughs> i get it like that's for a youtube video maybe right like that's a skit but did you really buy two copies and more importantly they actually made physical copies for concord <laughs> oh man because you know there are some games out there that people are like hey <laughs> yeah shout out to the homie ray for uh for subscribing but you know there are a lot of games where people are like hey, 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 make a physical copy make a physical version immediately right like there are people asking for physical versions from some games and concord is that game that even has a physical version it's over man or it had my bad was and were wasn't work guys my bad my bad to say regarding firewalk Wasn't as work. announced in early september had, an important had. update on concord certain aspects of concord were exceptional but others did not land with enough players and as a result we took the game offline we have spent considerable time these past few months exploring all our options after much thought we have determined the best path forward is to permanently sunset the game and close the studio i want to thank all of firewalk for their craftsmanship creative spirit and dedication and this right here sunset and craftsmanship okay is wild because it's twofold one the entire firewalk studios is shut down Insane. there are a lot of employees at firewalk studios and i went through all the links in i scrolled yeah. through the whole page i talked Man. about how this is a serious dire situation and what the hell are these people even doing every day are they driving into work and sitting at their cubicle and just waiting for some big wig at sony to tell them that they don't have a job anymore because Crazy. there's literally no reason for them to even work anymore but the little tidbit they put in here is no. they sunset concord no. meaning that all those updates we saw coming on steam and that the potential of it coming back as a free-to-play game and maybe it's they were reworking aspects of it they probably figured behind the scenes that the studio themselves was not talented enough to implement what they wanted to do to get the game out in a functioning way so that they could actually make it free to play so they just took a step back and said god we're just gonna have to take a tax loss on this because the game can't get out in the state that it's in and I they even didn't even they they thought through pr probably right they thought through all of this and they were like okay even if you put this game out for free <laughs> it, it, it's gonna be better to shut it down than even putting it out for free oh man oh man this is just I strongly encourage you guys if you're new to this whole firewalk situation to check out my backlog of firewalk studios behind the scenes oh we got a whole lot of backlogs just like the assassin's creed with the salute to get them bbc situation right with the assassin's creed with the star wars situation from ubisoft and their quadruple game what's that name what's that name of their quadruple game uh you know it's like uh sea of thieves or Nah, it was not Sea of Thieves, it was something else, something else. Let, let me know, help a brother Bruh. out. I mean, damn, help a brother out in the comments, I'm forgetting the name. ...means videos that do deep dives on not just the studio itself. Because after all, we do not get quadruple games daily, so it's 
pretty hard to remember, you know what I'm saying? That's my excuse right now. But the people working there, and the type of ideologies they were pushing, the mentalities behind some of them, and how it was just like walking on eggshells and everything was a an HR case when it came to going to work and trying to get anything done there. If you do not agree with their personal choices and their life approach, then you are the bad guy. And that yeah. kind of culture permeates the entire... A oh, long form gain. Okay, I thought that it meant design tips for long term gems or long form gems. Oh, all right. Higher industry. And the person that reached out to me with this information that I have much more of wants to get rid of that, wants the industry to change for the better. And the only way that's going to happen is by shedding light on it, by bringing mm, yeah. it out and telling people yeah. this is the problem that's going on behind the scenes in the video game industry. Yeah. Right now, Firewalk Studios with. Oh, thank God gamers are talking against it and talking about it. Not even against it, like, but talking about it, right? I guess they needed this. Because it, uh, on the inside, if they say the game is trash, they're gonna get fired, right? They don't even have to say the game is trash. They could be like more uh, critically, uh, they can criticize it appropriately, right? By saying that, hey, uh, so this part of the game, hey man, mm -mm, mm -mm, people not gonna like it. Let's do it this way. I guess they couldn't even say that there was a whole lot of toxic positivity rules for thee but not for me right let's have diversity but no diversity of thoughts were allowed this is just ludicrous what timeline were you guys were living in dog even i, I feel like they, even in the hitler timeline it wasn't i mean of course it was bad but but like bro like are were you guys living in hitler timelines where you are not even allowed to speak uh, uh, is this the United States of America? Like, damn, free speech, First Amendment, what the hell is going on? You're not, like, murdering somebody, you're literally making video games and talking about, hey, that part of the game, bad, let's make it better, or let's not do this, let's do that. Gamers not gonna like it, the uh, Sweet Baby Inc., they're loving it, but hey, th this what happens, you guys made this game for Sweet Baby Inc., you, you, you guys made this game for modern audience? <laughs> Which don't even exist. This thing is not gonna buy your game, bruh. This thing is not gonna buy your game. It's the gamers that are gonna buy the game. And you did not make the game. You did not make this for gamers. Therefore, yes. <laughs> That's why you're shutting down. It's insane, man. No diversity of thought allowed. No free speech. Uh, yeah, free speech, of course, is dead, right? Well, who am I kidding right now? It's insane. Concord. Yeah. Firewalk's tenure as a studio is riddled with missteps and clear indicators that their priorities were woefully out of touch with what gamers actually wanted to play. And then gamers have to take it upon themselves and talk about, hey, this is bad, that is bad, this is bad. I mean, the entire game was garbage, let's be real, guys. Not gonna sugarcoat it. The entire game belonged in the garbage. We talked about it before, we'll say it again. Like, it belongs in the garbage, and that's where it it just went to, so. Right, like, gamer, come on, man. Like, that's insane. You guys wasted $400 million, bro? And you guys were not even allowed to speak or talk openly? have a discussion within your studio i'm not even talking about you like typing tweets or like making reddit posts like you suck as how many devs were working on it you guys were not allowed to like communicate within the company what the hell that's crazy these like is wasted 400 million man holy Wait. you guys could have given that money to me bro you guys can give that money to everybody that was uh, that is uh, smashing that like button on the video. Feel what I'm saying? Like the video if you deserve to get that part of the 400 million, man. Guys, let's not get uh, a lot of likes on this video. Let's like keep it around like a thousand, and then we can like share like you know 400 million between like a thousand people. Some crap like that, no say. But nah, these suck is crazy, bro. Over the years, the studio gained a reputation for its HR-driven practices, an environment that consistently emphasized ideological messaging, pronouns, and the inclusive initiatives over what actually brings players to gaming. Yeah. You know, the whole Damn. compelling games that make you want to pick up a controller and play it. No, 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 that's not important. Let's. Just just make sure we address the people here by their preferred pronouns so we don't get anyone upset. And I discussed this in detail in my professor video, where the internal culture at Firewalk Studios was far more about optics than anything related to outcomes. And it showed. Instead of hiring developers with a true passion for game design, they hired those with priorities that laid in activism, viewing their role not as creators of entertainment, but as enforcers of a social agenda. Like, again, I go back to this because they always go back to, oh, I, I like games, I'm a developer, that's why I play games. But I think reality strikes when it's like, yeah, you might casually like games, you might mm. understand mm. coding, but mm. your true passion is not gaming. And Facts. this is reality, smacking people in the face. Yeah, like, she, uh, uh, definitely, right? She could excel 
as an activist she can excel uh, as an activist so like do that boo boo do, <laughs> do that sweetheart if you're gonna make a video game make a video game for the gamers bro damn y'all suck is crazy what how hard is that to understand that idea bruh you guys wasted 400 million oh man bro you do you know like as a kid if i wasted 40 dollars bruh like i would i would have been homeless i'll just be real I, like the parents would have been like ta 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 right like if i wasted for 40 dollars oh man these suckers wasted 400 million bro 400 million dollars 400 million dollars you suckers out of your goddamn mind yo these, these suckers could have made so many amazing games man these suckers could have made so many amazing fun ass projects so many good games but they chose that bull over this uh, or over making like good games them realize okay maybe i do like gaming but maybe it's not as much as i need to or maybe i'm just not talented enough or creative enough or just passionate enough to make a game as special as it needs to be in an extremely competitive video game landscape Bruh. you are competing with the top dogs it's a dog eat dog world out there and you are triple a getting paid the big bucks and if you can't succeed on that level you deserve to fail concord was lacking any essential elements that made the multiplayer game successful in any way replayability competitive balance, and the elusive quality of, you know, fun. Yeah. Let's be honest, the biggest part was probably charging the $40 for a game that was competing with free-to-play games that have been out forever, yeah, yeah, yeah. especially Overwatch comes to mind, but there's so many out there, I could turn this video into talking about it. But the problem was, I don't even necessarily completely blame Firewalk with the failure on this. Sure, the developers weren't talented enough, their passion laid elsewhere, but you look at the executives and the decisions that got made, and it's like, why are you making this game? Because you see other games successful, and instead yeah. of being original and creative, you just see what's successful and say, okay, let's copy mm. that, and instead of making- Guys, check out this video on the screen. This is the last video that we've done, and this is about GTA 6. Some new leaks came on. A guy actually sent out a drone at Rockstar Games. It is insane, bro. Uh, and of course, we also got leaks and some official news about, about GTA 6, a live stream and all that. That's happening very, very soon. Definitely check out this video, and I'll see you right there.